hello guys welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to solve some questions on indices now we have two questions here so for the first question we have the square root of 3 exponent x plus 7 equals the cube root of 3 exponent 2x plus 3 for the second one we are going to find the truth set of the equation 3 exponent 2x plus 1 minus 26 times 3 exponent x minus 9 equals 0. So these are the questions we are going to solve in this particular video. Okay, so now let's tackle the questions. So for question number 1, we have the square root of 3 exponent x plus 7 equals the cube root of 3 exponent 2x plus 3 so this is what we have now to solve this problem we always need to make sure that we have the same base so that we can compare the exponent and find the value of x now for this we have square root of 3 and then for this we have the cube root of 3 now in indices, there is a property such that whenever you have the square root of a, this is equal to a exponent 1 over 2. And then if you have the cube root of a, that is equal to a exponent 1 over 3. So these are what we are going to apply here. So for this, we have 3 exponent 1 over 2 multiplying x plus 7 and then here we have 3 exponent 1 over 3 multiplying 2x plus 3 now because we have the same base we are going to compare their exponents so we are going to have 1 over 2 multiplying x plus 7 equals 1 over 3 multiplying 2x plus 3. Now let's focus on this equation. We realize that we have 1 over 2 and then we have 1 over 3 here. Now the LCM between 2 and 3 is equal to 6. So we are going to multiply through by 6. So we have 6 times 1 over 2 into bracket x plus 7 and then we have 6 times 1 over 3 into bracket 2x plus 3 now let's multiply across now 2 goes into itself once into 6 3 times so we have 3 into bracket x plus 7 and here 3 goes into itself once into 6 2 times so we have 2 into bracket 2x plus 3 then we are going to have 3 times x is 3x 3, 3 times 7 is 21 and then 2 times 2x is 4x and then 2 times 3 is 6 now let's transpose this 3 to the right hand side and then 6 to the left hand side so we are going to have 21 minus 6 equals 4x minus 3x. Now 21 minus 6 is equal to 15. And then 4x minus 3x is x. So we have x to be equal to 15. So this is the value of x. Now let's solve the second question. So for question number 2, we are to find the truth set of the equation 3 exponent 2x plus 1 minus 26 times 3 exponent x minus 9 equals 0. Now we are going to find the truth set for this equation. Now first of all, let's try to expand this expression. Now according to indices, 
whenever you have something like e exponent m multiplying e exponent n then that is equal to e exponent m plus n so we are going to apply the same principle here so having 3 exponents 2x plus 1 we can expand this to have 3 exponents 2x times 3 exponents 1 minus 26 into bracket 3 exponents x minus 9 equals 0 now 3 exponents 2x is the same as 3 exponents x all squared minus 26 we have 3 exponents x minus 9 equals 0 now because we have 3 exponents x here and then we also have 3 exponents x here let's try to represent this by another variable so let's say we are going to let y to be equal to 3 exponents x now if we do that then we have 3 y squared minus 26 y minus 9 equals 0 now it is clear that we have a quadratic equation so let's expand it and factorize now let's multiply the coefficient of the y squared term by the coefficient of the constant so we have 3 times negative 9 which is negative 27 now we need to find factors of negative 27 that when you multiply they give you negative 27 but when you add them they give you negative 26 so that is 1 and then negative 27 so let's expand so we have 3y squared minus sorry plus y minus 27y minus 9 equals 0 now let's factorize so we have the LCM between 3y squared and then y is y so we have y into brackets we have 3y plus 1 and then we have negative 9 into bracket 3y plus 1 that is equal to 0 so we have y minus 9 and then we have 3y plus 1 and that is equal to 0 so for y minus 9 equals 0 we have y to be equal to 9 and then for 3y plus 1 equals 0 we have 3y equals negative 1 we divide through by 3 and then we have y to be equal to negative 1 over 3 so these are the values of y now because we are interested in the values of x we are going to look for the values of x now we are going to call this equation so when y is equal to 9 we have 9 equals 3 exponent x now don't forget that we need to make sure that the bases are the same so that we can compare their exponents now 9 is equal to 3 squared so we have 3 squared equals 3 exponent x so because their bases are the same we can compare their exponents so straight away x is equal to 2 now when y is equal to negative 1 over 3 we have negative 1 over 3 equals 3 exponent x now according to indices 1 over 3 is equal to 3 exponent negative 1 so negative 1 over 3 is equal to negative 3 exponent negative 1 that is equal to 3 exponent x now because the bases are not the same we cannot compare their exponents so this is invalid we can't work this one out so we are going to focus on x is equal to 2 so the truth set for this equation is such that x is equal to 2 so that is the end of this video if you like the content of this video do well to like 
comment and share among friends. Don't forget to subscribe to receive more interesting videos. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.